sitting on the floor in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Didn't post a video yesterday. It's been a tough day with a sick student. And uh, today, some of the work that got done was the wall behind me was finally uh, finished to the point of priming it. So it's kind of newly white. section of wall. Not only that, but actually the floor is newly primed. And you can probably see this little spot. It had been primed over on the dirty part of the white floor, but it's uh, newly primed here. In fact, I might be getting paint on my behind, but don't know. Anyway, I just uh, came in and used the restroom, and then I kind of noticed the sort of white area of kind of cleanly newness and uh, we didn't post a video yesterday because uh, there was an emergency with a student who nearly lost her life and uh, so I went out this morning you know yesterday was crazy of course but uh, this morning because uh, they did make it. Uh, I went out before dawn and imaged a time lapse of the sunrise. And uh, then I sent it to them and they just basically saying, look, you know, here's the sunrise that you might have missed if you had died yesterday, which nearly happened. And uh, I said, you know, You know, if you had missed this, we'd be missing you. And so basically, here's an image of something new, you know, a new day. And then when I came in here, I kind of saw the, it was taking about four years, <laughs> you know. And finally we got to the stage of putting prime, which is kind of the end of the deconstruction and construction and the beginning of sort of, you know, painting put it, you know, making things the way you imagine them. So it kind of felt like the dawn time lapse. Here's something new at the start of it. So I thought I'd just sit here and meditate. And <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is just take some breaths. Here's the uh, joint compound. And uh, I'll give you, so I'm sitting on the square maybe not even completely dry, and there's the newly painted wall. And um, so I'm just gonna rest this on the joint pot compound bucket, I think. Just gonna see how that goes. And uh, just gonna return to where it was sitting, I think. Even though I'm probably getting paint on me. This is with the breath. To inhale and really not just feel the breath for what it feels like, but know it for what it is and what it represents. Every inhalation. is a newness. There's a pluripotentiality to every inhalation. And all the possibilities available to you are represented by and energized by that in-breath. So it's not just how it feels, but what it, what it represents. And by represents, it's not just the idea of it. I mean, it represents and helps come into being. Nobody dies on an inhalation. You die in the exhalation. The exhalation is the end, is the last. There isn't a corpse that's full of an inhalation. There's always 
always exhaled. And so on an inhalation, we could say that we're promised. <clears throat> Whatever that can bring, and what it can bring is something pretty potent, almost anything. So I want to listen in, become aware, and feel into that. Inhale. And feel the infinite possibility that the breath is, that the breath represents. Don't just know it with the mind. Don't just feel the breath in a physical way. Feel this knowing with the inhalation. And so if we have, let's say, a random number generator, there's a potentiality there, like, Say any number could come out of, you know, when you roll the dice or pick a number out of a hat or ask your computer to come up with a random number. You can imagine that any number could arrive. But the moment of exhalation, a number is chosen. What was possible is now manifest. We move from possibility to manifestness. We move from potential to actuality. And so when we're feeling it to be in breath and uh, pluripotency, we can also be aware that a choice has been made, an action has been catalyzed with that inhalation. Many possibilities become a choice with every exhalation. something you're inviting in the potentialities it's, you're you know prime allows you to take a coat of paint and the paint feels infinite in terms of the types and colors and the process of priming is you know process by which you, you get this blank slate feeling you know but it's also something that will invite the possibilities we can Take that lesson from this prime job on the wood. When I inhale, I'm inviting the next possibility through the exhale. Five, three, you're ready for class, so. Thank you for joining me for some bathroom meditation.